Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, Worldwide Weather Watch. Today is October 27th, and right now we're looking at the mesoscale floater satellite imagery, one minute loops of major Hurricane Melissa. Look at that eye. It's about 10 nautical miles wide. If you were in there, you'd be getting relatively calm winds. You'd be able to see blue sky above you, but as soon as you went back through the eye wall, you would be getting the full wrath of this extremely potent, powerful hurricane. Jamaica is just to the north, Cuba to the north of Jamaica. This is almost certainly going to track across the western portion of Jamaica and up across eastern portions of Cuba as it pushes out across the Atlantic Ocean. So if we take a wider view of things here, this storm is not a threat to Mexico, Gulf of Mexico, and the USA, the eastern seaboard. This is going to almost certainly move back off to the north and east. So there's some good news associated with that. Not so good news is the impacts that Jamaica and Cuba is going to feel from this storm. Now, looking at the precipitable water, we're looking at the northern Atlantic Ocean there. You're looking at Newfoundland and Nova Scotia, uh, and then the eastern seaboard is right there. So if I put this into motion, you can see it spinning across Jamaica, Cuba, and then pushing off across the Atlantic Ocean, completing its heat transfer process from the tropics back up into the mid-latitudes. Could bring a strong storm towards the United Kingdom as you go through November 3rd as well. I'll show you that here in this slide. Now, the ridge here to the north is kind of keeping Melissa at bay, at least for the time being. But then you see we get some troughing off the east coast there and across portions of the lower 48. That's going to help grab uh, Melissa and pull it up towards uh, Newfoundland, Nova Scotia. Perhaps there's a strong storm there. And then look at the pressure gradient on the storms that moves towards the United Kingdom. Very powerful storm there. And if you're going out toward portions of that area over here into Europe, you're going to want to pay attention to that and see what kind of impacts that is going to have. That's still a ways out in the forecast but it's been showing up as you know bringing a strong storm to por uh, portions way off to the northeast of the atlantic ocean for a few runs now so taking a look again at Melissa, there's Jamaica and Cuba. If we scroll in a little bit more, major hurricane as it strikes Cuba, and it should remain a hurricane off across portions of the Atlantic Ocean. But again, no threat to Florida right now. Now, I've extended this out six days. This is not a high-resolution model of the European, but again, some of these totals could be 10, 20, or more inches. Catastrophic flash flooding is almost certainly going to happen across portions of Jamaica. And I don't know any place on the planet that could really withstand this kind of hit without you know some kind of major damage to the island you just hope to reduce loss of life at this point and same thing goes for portions of eastern cuba some huge impacts coming up here now Again, model ag agreement is good, should not be affecting Florida or the eastern seaboard here. We have a pretty good idea this is moving back out over the Atlantic Ocean. The strength of the storm is most likely going to be diminishing somewhat as it hits Jamaica and Cuba. Hurricanes don't like terrain features, but it should not remain a Category 4 or 5 over the next few days, although it could remain a hurricane for a while as it's going out across the Atlantic Ocean. Now, looking at some of the warm water out there, this is why uh, Melissa was able to develop so rapidly. This is just absolute bath water out there, very warm conditions. It's also very deep. So when the hurricane sits over the same area, a lot of times it will upwell water from beneath, which is generally cooler. But in this case, it's not that much cooler. So it's not going to help and weaken Melissa as it goes over Jamaica and towards Cuba. And if we take a look at that, I've scrolled all the way out there. But if I back that up, you can kind of see Melissa bringing some of that slightly cooler water back up, but it's still very warm water in its own right, and it's not doing much good. It's not going to be weakening Melissa as we go, even though it's sitting over the same area. If a hurricane just kind of sits still over the same area, sometimes it'll upwell and it'll start to weaken itself because of that cooler water, but not in this case. So yeah, that should move back out across the Atlantic Ocean. And some dire wording here from uh, the uh, Hurricane Center. Uh, Melissa, the classic strong hurricane appearance in satellite imagery. Again, 10 nautical miles wide, very cold cloud tops. So just a perfect sign of, of a very powerful system. And a look at the central pressure down to 908 millibars. It's absolutely crazy. And the NOAA Hurricane Hunter left the storm early after experiencing severe turbulence in the southwestern Iowa. Well, I don't know when they plan to go back out, but again, when you're looking at the satellite imagery, you know you've just got these intense winds here. It's pretty much academic, these individual readings they would get at this point. And there's virtually no difference if this makes a category four or five intensity. Both categories produce catastrophic wind damage. And if you were in Jamaica or you know anybody, hopefully you know well enough not to venture out of your safe shelter, catastrophic life, threatening flash flooding, numerous landslides likely today through Tuesday, and the winds that can cause total structural failure, especially in higher elevation areas tonight and early Tuesday. So yeah, all kinds of bad stuff here. Storm surge for some of the coastal areas there 
uh, as well. So anyway, just wanted to put that video out there in case you guys were wondering about the latest on Major Hurricane Melissa. Not moving too fast right now, but it will start its track north here over the next day or so. So anyway, if you guys know anybody across Cuba, Jamaica, you know, or even the United Kingdom with that comes across the Atlantic Ocean, strong mid latitude cyclone or heck in Nova Scotia or Newfoundland as well. So anyway, hope you guys are liking these videos. Let me know what else you'd like me to cover on this channel. I'll try to pick some of the funnest weather events across the planet and just kind of do these every couple, you know, a couple times a week or so. So let me know what you guys think. Um, otherwise, check out the California and the Pacific Northwest Weather Watch page and I will talk to you guys again later.